how much marks you will require to get AIR one. I can suggest you something like that. Whenever you prepare for any particular examination, always try to aim for AIR one. So for any particular examination, if you're preparing for more than six months or more than eight months, then you always require the internal motivation. We will be discussing about the CSE toppers and for gate score. And under 100, you should always target for more than 70 months. Welcome to GFG. My name is Satish Yadav. And today we will be discussing about how much marks you will require to get AIR1. Basically, uh, sometimes whenever you people are preparing for any particular examinations, I know that most of the people or I can say that every student always try to aim for AIR1, right? Or sometimes you think like that, ki, if I'll get two digit rank, then I'll be very much fine with respect to that. Or if I'll get NIT or if I'll get triple IT, then you think like that. Some students, maybe not you, but some students may think like that. Or I can suggest you something like that. Whenever you prepare for any particular examination, always try to aim for AIR1 because that gives you the internal motivation because whenever you are preparing for any particular examination, sometimes your fight is not for one month. Sometimes your fight is not for 15 days, not for 20 days. It will always be more than six months, more than eight months. So for any particular examination, if you're preparing for more than six months or more than eight months, then you always require the internal motivation. And who gives this internal motivation? Your own goal will give you the internal motivation. So always try to aim for your own goal. So today in this particular uh, session, we will be talking about how much marks will require for AIR1. That is the first approach and second approach is basically how you can aim or what will be your strategy or what type of strategy that you can build it. So first we will be discussing about the CSE toppers and for gate score. So if I want to discuss about here, so the first thing that you can understand in 2025, I think this has been happening to the history. The 100 out of 100 marks, a person is getting 100 out of 100 marks. That means he has not done any mistake while preparation also and during the examinations also. So we have to learn many things from gate 2025 ranker, the AIR 1 ranker. He has not done any mistake. Whatever the type of mistakes, he always tried to reduce it or maybe he has always, you know, tried to reduce it. So what are the mistakes? Let's talk about the mistakes. I mean, yes, 25, 100 out of 100, 90 marks, 87.81 in 2022, it was 81. Now, if you will try to see that here, the people have reduced their mistakes. So one strategy we can try to get it from here. Whenever you people are trying to prepare for a gate examination, always try to see that what kind of mistakes that you can reduce it. So the first thing that is the first thing you have to understand. You have to reduce your own mistake. So on an average, if I will talk about, so that means here more than try to target or try to have a target of more than 85 marks. If you're planning for AIR one. Now, if I talk about the gate DA to uh, toppers and marks in obviously, you know, gate DA has been introduced in 2024 first time. So 90 marks here, 96.33 marks. So here also you can try to expect key more than 90 marks. If you are trying to get or more than 90, always try to aim higher. Sometimes whenever I used to say that student, you should prepare for examination where you should try to aim that you should get 100 out of 100 but students sometimes laugh but here see the result here the some type of students they are getting 100 out of 100 so there is no scope of doing any type of mistake now if i talk about triple e for gate toppers in 2581 2477 2366 and 22, 92.67. Obviously, it also depends on the year. It also depends on the difficulty of the paper. So obviously, if the paper is very tough, then obviously, as you can understand, your marks will vary and based on the normalization. But uh, if you are preparing for a particular examination, try to aim for more than 85 marks into that. Now, let's talk about what are the strategies and everything that we can discuss. So CSI AIR1 target marks you should be having is more than 90 plus and under 100 you should always target for more than 70 marks. So 
I was talking about the internal motivation. So those students who are preparing for a gate examination, and I know that still some of the times are there, and I know that you are preparing, you are watching, and you are preparing very, you are doing a very good hard work. But always try to see that you, if you are, if you are planning for a year one or if you are planning for two digit rank, then here more than seventy marks. So your preparation should be more than seventy marks, more than seventy five marks. so what are the subjects that you will be carrying or what are the mistakes that you are doing right now and how you are avoiding it many times i have seen the students the last year also they have done the same mistake and this year also they are doing the same mistake last year they have not you know appeared for any particular test series but this year also they are not doing the test series so as we know that if we have done a mistake and there was some problem related to that so again what we have to do we have to reduce those mistakes so mistakes reduction of mistakes are very very important da air one target more than 90 marks air 100 under air 100 you should get for you know 70 plus marks for ec target marks air one 80 plus and under air 100 target marks should be 70 plus so as you can see that if you are right now if you are planning for two digit rank yes right now it is possible Right now, it is possible to get a two-digit a two-digit rank. Many students have tried it. Many students have also got it. So here, this is my suggestion to each and every students: If you are planning for two-digit rank, you always try to aim for more than seventy plus marks. Now, try to divide your subjects. Subject number one: How much marks you are targeting into that, and what is the difficulty of this subject? Subject number two: What is the difficulty of this particular subjects, and how you can score? So you you should have a particular chart related to particular subjects, and with respect to that subject, try to find out your weakness and strength part into that. And what are the things in the weakness you will be targeting? What are the things that you are targeting into the strength, and how much marks you are you know uh, uh, trying to get into that particular subject? So try to make one list. once you will make that particular list then what you will find it out you will find it out such that you are doing a lot of mistakes and you have to increase your marks by 10 marks or by 20 so from where you will get extra 10 marks from where you are you will get extra 20 marks that you have to work a lot you have to work a lot into that now there are certain types of revision strategy as i told you we will be talking about the revision strategy so the first revision you have to do on the same day revision but right now many times the students are preparing for many subjects four or five subjects they are preparing right now but sometimes it is not possible to get a uh, same day revision it is very much you know it is very much important to do the same day revision but if in any case if you are not getting the time then what you will do try to go for a next day revision before you will start any particular subject try to do the revision for the whatever you have covered yesterday so revision is the best medicine that you can have in any examination forget about gate examination in any examination you have to do the revision revision is very much important third type of revision you can have is basically on weekend basically not third type this is all the type of revisions that you have to do so on a weekend whatever you have studied for monday to friday try to do the revision on saturday and sunday this is also very much helpful fourth revision end of the subject revision here you can go for a short notes okay here you can go for a short notes short notes are very important and you can try to make it once your subject has been completed now end of syllabus revision so this is all the types of revisions and the most important part is you have to do a revision and second most important part is you have to go for a test series so if i will be talking about the test series so here gate 2026 the gfg has already launched the test series you people can try to grab this test series in 999 and you can utilize this and those students many times the students are you know asking for the types of batches and there is one batch what we have importantly we have launched is basically the practice batch which is called as a agni pariksha batch so in agni pariksha batch you will be getting all the different types of you know the questions so on an average if you will talk about per subject you will get more than 150 or more than 200 different types of questions and these questions has not been covered till now in the faculty's lecture these questions will be new whatever the faculties have taught anywhere this type of questions will be new to each and every students 
okay we have talked about the test series and there is last batch which is going on and gate 2026 that is gate 2.0 and then that will be for 6400 try to grab it and as you know that we all have the faculties who have large amount of experience into that and you can try to take this admissions and you can try to start your generally or if you have already completed your subjects you can try to start your practice sessions so today's sessions the most important part i just want to tell you ki what are the marks that eir1 you know they are getting and what are the some strategies that you can do it so i have shared few strategies with you and if you need more type of strategy please comment into the uh, this particular link so that you know we can come up with more strategy and then we can share to all the students thank you everyone